Good morning and welcome to Coffee Walk. I've got a great one for you today. I need to borrow about 10 minutes of your time. It's going to be a longer coffee walk than usual because we have got four very special CJs in the shop. It's unusual to have four of these in here at the same time. So grab your cup of joe and let's go. Give me 10 minutes of your time. I promise you it'll be worth it. Even if you're not a Jeep fanatic, if you're a classic car fanatic or just a four wheel drive fanatic, you're gonna appreciate these, come on. So at Collins Motors for the last 34 years, this October will be our 35th year, we've always specialized in 76 to 86. Rarely do we do pre-76. There's reasons for that. Parts are hard to come by. They don't drive as good, on and on and on. However, the 72 to 75s are the best of the bunch for pre-76. They are rare proprietary in that only the parts for 72 to 75 are interchangeable tough to restore now the renegade model is very desirable for collectors this particular renegade this 1974 code 509 renegade plum is the color was actually sold new here in richardson texas which is only 11 miles from us what is significant about this jeep is whoever ordered this jeep basically went down and checked every box so not only did they get a special order color 509 renegade plum they got the Renegade package, which included the special slotted wheels. Very cool. It's got worn hubs. They ordered the winch, which is extremely rare. Side steps. Now, everything on one of these CJs was an option. Everything. So everything I'm showing you had to check a box for. Turn signals. Roll bar. Rear bumper that's been modified a little bit. Obviously, the tuner's receiver is not correct. Back seat was an option. Now these seats have been recovered. Soft top was an option. You didn't just get a top with them. Really rare piece right here, the swing out tire carrier. Rarely do you see that on a pre-76. But here's what's really significant about these. The reason they don't run and drive, not run, they run well, but the reason they don't drive very well is the majority of them did not have power steering and very few of them had power brakes. So the guy that ordered this Jeep Ordered the 304, which is the biggest motor you could get, power steering and power brakes. So this Jeep actually runs and drives well. What else is really cool about this is this Jeep is almost rust free because it's been here locally. So come look at the floors. The floors are just amazing. And this Jeep's only traveled 52,000 miles. I drove this Jeep when I bought it. It runs and drives really, really good for a pre-76. This is one you can actually drive around town, get on the highway with. It's great. This is the only area that's got rust on this Jeep, which is very common, because you've got your inner support in here and water holes in there. So, again, a code 509, Renegade Plum, with just about every option you could possibly get. Oh, dash pad was an option, too, which came with the Renegade. Secondly, I want to show you a really, really special 1977 CJ5. Why is this so special? Well, for many, many reasons. First of all, I want to show you how when you walk up on a later model CJ, that you can always tell if it's a 76 to 86 by when you look inside of it, you've got a GM style steering column. That's going to set you off as opposed to, I want to walk back over the 74 real quick, the military style steering column. So when you're walking up to one of these, you see the GM style, you know you're looking at the 76 or newer. Now the 76 and 77s had different cowls on them. So when you walk up to a 76 or 77, your cow vent is going to be inset in the cow, which means you know you're looking at a 76 or 77 one of the first two years. Now this is color code 7E Oak Leaf Brown, which I think is the very, very best color for a Golden Eagle. It actually to me looks more like olive green, but it is called Oak Leaf Brown. The Golden Eagle was the ultimate Jeep in 1977. Now you could get a, a limited edition Golden Eagle CE which if you look on the quarter panel right here, CE, that stands for, which you look right here, California edition. So for collectors out there, Golden Eagles are always incredibly sought after. A 77 limited edition, California edition, V8, Golden Eagle, CJ5 is gonna be among the rarest of all the Golden Eagles and one of the most sought afters. Yes, it is a V8, so it's 304. Power steering, power brakes, and as you can see, this thing still has all its emission components on it. 
else is really neat on this Jeep, and I've actually never seen this before, is this got this decal on the windshield, vehicle emission information. This vehicle has been tested under and conforms to California assembly line test requirements. This is an American Motors decal. Very cool. This is a one family owned Jeep and the majority of the miles that were put on this Jeep were tow miles. It's got 39,000 miles on it, but way less driven miles. And the reason this Jeep is in such good condition, it was always stored inside. Again, they used it behind a motor coach. And when he bought the Jeep new, he had the soft top taken off and the aftermarket hard top put on it. So this Jeep always had a hard top put on it. So look at the condition. The interior is amazing. To see a set of original Levi seats like this that are not ripped or torn, you just never see it. Beautiful original carpet set, uncracked dash pad, and all the Golden Eagles did have the tack and the clock, and they did order a factory AM radio in this Jeep. So the interior is just absolutely killer. The seat belts are date-coded 1977. Everything is correct. Now, when we got the Jeep, the hardtop was off. I'm not a fan of the aftermarket hardtops. I just left it there, and I came back, and we put on what I believe to be is the best top that you're gonna be able to get, pardon the pun, on the market today if you can't come up with all the original hardware, which is very difficult. And these tops also seal better and shut better. So if you look over here at this box, we had best top, which thank you very much for doing this. I bugged them forever. And finally, years back, Ken Holbrook, the president of best top, told me to quit bugging them, go ahead and send the material. We had a ton of Levi denim and white denim factory hearts material in our warehouse that I bought all the bolts, which a bolt is a huge roll, and had these tops made out of the original hearts cloth that they used on these Jeeps in the 70s and 80s. So this right here is a complete, we, we, they call this a 60th anniversary top, but we also call it heritage tops. This will fit your 76 to 83. So this is all the hardware in the complete top for a CJ5. Now, we only had enough material to make 17 of these. So we've got, well, actually we made more than that, but we have 17 of these left and we have six in white. So if you're gonna do a restoration and don't wanna try to fight finding all the original hardware, which is really difficult, it's an easier install. You don't have to change and drill new holes and snaps. It fits right on it. Beautiful top. So there you have it. 77 Golden Eagle Limited Edition California Edition. Killer Jeep. Next we've got a 78 Renegade that came out of Marshall, Texas, which is only 90 miles from here. Now it's in factory black. Now you can tell when you walk up this Jeep that's a 78, like I showed you on this, a 76, 77, your Calvin is now mounted on top and it's not inset. So you know that you're looking at a 78 or newer CJ5 at this point. Black is very, very rare on all CJs. The factory hated to paint them in black because it showed all the rivet marks, which the collectors now covet. They really like to see the rivet marks. And that was the number one complaint that they had at the dealerships when the customer came because they could see all these flaws in the Jeep. So getting the black ones usually had to special order, and I believe this Jeep probably was special ordered. Now, this Jeep does have its original soft top still on it, which is amazing. And again, it's a Levi's edition. Nice original Levi's seats. But what is truly incredible about this Jeep is it's got 21,000 actual miles, and it has all five original Goodyear Tracker AT tires still on the Jeep. I mean, get you some of that. Where are you gonna see that? Original tires on early Jeeps is incredibly rare. Whether it's a Tracker AT or a PC, you almost never see that. It's not incredibly rare to see the Goodyear Wranglers on the later model ones, 81 to 86, but to see this, you almost never see it. This Jeep's also got factory AM radio. Of course, it's got all the original gauges, really nice steering wheel, all the proper decals, totally original paint. And again, that Golden Eagle over there is also is 100% original paint. This is 100% original paint. And the 74 Renegade Plum is mostly original paint. We've seen some touch-up spots on that. And that Jeep right there, it's early in the morning right now. The guys aren't even here yet. That Jeep will be done today. And uh, we'll have it on the website if you want to see it all put together. This is also a 304 V8. Power steering, power brakes, with all this smog equipment still on it. So these are two of the best original V8 CJ5 Survivor Jeeps I've seen in a long time, as far as 76 to 83. And that's one of the best original pre-76s I've seen in a long time. Let's go in the back and see what's going on with our 78 V8 CJ5 restoration. Man, this is good coffee.
So last week we showed you the body was completely off of this Jeep. The bottom side's done, the firewall's cut in. It's fitted to the frame. It's gonna stay on the chassis from now on. It's got all new body mounts. We've got it aligned properly. The hood's been, has been blocked. It's ready to shoot. The inner, we have cut these in. We always cut the inner fenders in and the grill in before we put them on the Jeep. Fit them, make sure the panel gaps are perfect. They put the hood back on. We shoot the windshield frame off. We shoot it with the hood on the Jeep because you need the hinges painted at the same time. And then we'll roll from there. This should be done in the next two weeks. Again, this is a one owner local 78 V8 CJ5. So thanks for watching. I was excited to show you guys this today. To have four V8 CJ5s in the shop at the same time is very unusual. If you want to see those three Jeeps, for the first time ever, I'm actually going to have them posted on the website the same day we did a coffee walk. I'm sorry I've never done that in the past. Everybody's asking questions. We want to see them. There's one thing. If you have time, go look at the Golden Eagle. We had the interior completely out of it and took about 20 shots of the floor. It is absolutely amazing. It's not even scratched. It's probably the best paint I've seen on an original pre-81 Jeep because they used enamel back then. It wasn't base coat, clear coat. The paint looks amazing. So thanks for watching. Please share this. Have a great day.